And now the beginning of forms actually doing something. So let's open up our information page. Like I said, it's a good page because there's a lot of space down here. And it might be a page where you might request information. Makes sense, right? So first thing to do is insert form. So within this red box, it knows that it's form data you're going to be putting in there, things you insert. Now, once you've gotten that, we want to insert a table. <coughs> At this point, let's just choose nine rows, two columns, a table width of 100 pixels, um, actually, let's go a little bit more. Let's go a thousand, and then none, and then leave everything else defaulted. Oh, that might have been a little too big. All right, there we go. Now we click in the first field here. Let's make these kind of even. I think that would be best. All right. In the first cell, now we're going to insert and then go form and then text field, which is one of the basic fields um, as far as forms are concerned. And you're going to be using them probably the most. So let's ID this as company name. Let's just put company and then company name colon and this is the option we want for now attach label tag using for attribute leave this as before leave everything else and just hit OK and now we have company name and this is where they'd enter that data that text um, let's insert a few more so text field, ID, um, location, city. Let's do another one. Insert text area, um, name, last name. first and last name. Colon. Like so. And so you could just continue on in the form, the same format. And just to see how it would look, let's hit Control S to save. And then we're going to preview in F12. And there's, there's the beginning of a simple form. And if I click on there, I can already start to name input data. Yeah. So that is the beginning of forms.